Let's talk about the fall of the Hero Society and Hawks' role in it. So I'm the one to If you enjoy My Hero Academia, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get right into this discussion. <laughs> First of all, I want to talk about Hawks, uh, just why he's in the story, okay? Because if the, the main goal, you have to understand the main goal for My Hero Academia is it's going to be Deku's going to be the greatest hero of all time. And Deku's going to fight Shigaraki, who's probably the main antagonist. And they're probably going to clash and that's going to be the final fight. And that's somehow going to end the League of Villains and making Deku, you know, the greatest hero of all time. But there's a problem. Why is Hawks here? Because... Oh, Horikoshi wouldn't have thrown Hawks in this story for no reason unless Hawks is going to play a major role. Now, I was trying to think of reasons why Hawks might actually be here. And I, I kind of took it in a biblical way. Because I remember, I know that, what's it called? Lucifer was the fallen angel who actually fell down and then basically became the devil or uh, a demon, if you want to say. Um, so you can kind of look at Hawks in that perspective as well. So, for example, let's say Hawks is Lucifer, right? So Hawks is a hero. He's a good person, right? He's on the hero team. But it's not that he's actually trying to trick the League of Legends. He's not actually a bad guy. He's just trying to work with them and trying to trick them. He's not really a bad guy. He's not like actually like Lucifer. But what if he goes to the... He takes it too far. You know what I mean? He takes it to that step where he just can't come back from it. And because of him, the hero society ends up in chaos or something's wrong with it. Right? Because we know that Hawks isn't going to be the one to take down the League of Villains. So what is his goal? So he's probably going to cause some sort of problem in the hero system and then Deku could be the one that kind of you know comes and fixes all of this up because he's going to be the greatest hero of all time and then takes down the League of Villains now obviously that's probably going to be end game stuff so I don't think it's going to happen now but you know Horikoshi is giving us little hints here and there with Hawks he's not he's not always showing us Hawks but when he does he kind of gives us little hints that he's going to be doing something for the end game right now in the latest chapter we saw him actually do something with best genius we don't know what he did but we could insist that he kind of, you know, basically took one of his feathers and did something to him. Uh, he could have captured him or done something. Now, that could be a big problem because we know I think Best Genius is still injured. Um, so, Hawks is doing stuff behind the scenes for the League of Villains. But he thinks, he might, in his head, he thinks he's using them. When in, when in reality, it might be them actually using him. And they know that, you know, he, they don't, because they don't trust him fully. They, they keep telling him to do these tasks. And after he does these tasks, they still I give him more and more tasks. And But Dabi did say this is going to be your final task or something like that. Because other, other than that, any way you look at it, there isn't really much Hawks could do in this story. I love Hawks. He's one of my favorite characters. I might even do a full discussion just based on Hawks. Uh, just because of how cool of a character he is. Um, if you guys want that, let me know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. As I said, comment about it. Comment me if you, wanna, if you want a full Hawks discussion. I don't think Hawks is going to join up the League of, with the League of Villains. A lot of, I, I've heard, I saw someone on Twitter saying... Oh, what if Hawks joins the League of Villains, right? He He's doing all this and he's on the hero side, but then he ends up by accident just like he, he kind of like understands their ideals and then he wants to join them as well. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think Hawks wants to take them down, but I, the problem is then there's Deku and Deku should be the one that takes them down because, you know, Deku's the main character, the protagonist, and it's his story. So it has to be Deku that takes them down. Um, or it could be just maybe, maybe Hawks takes down the League of Villains and then Deku takes down Shigaraki end game, but I'm not sure. But other than that, I wonder what you guys think of Hawks. What is he gonna? Be? What's his story in this? What's his part in this story? Um, other than that, I'm the one to try. As I said in the beginning, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment for more My Hero Academia content, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.